The beginning is a very delicate time. Happy 2023. May this be your best year yet. I'm still kind of transitioning into this new home, this cabin life. It's quiet. It's cold. It's dark. Do you pay attention to omens? To signs? I used to pay attention to omens almost religiously. It's inspired by the book The Alchemist, where omens are a huge part of following your personal legend. Maybe it's just because I was living in Hawaii and I had nothing better going on that I just started paying attention to every little detail. Whoa, dude, did you see that license plate? It said 564. Do you know what that means? I paid way too much attention. I did notice a particular omen that happened January 1st, 2020. Nothing happened that year. I woke up, I opened my window, and there was a naked man staring at me. And then I looked again, and it was this mannequin art piece that someone painted, and they just abandoned this right in front of my window. I said out loud, this is going to be a weird year. A couple months later, the world has never been been the same. New Year's Eve this year, it started snowing, snowing, and we got snowed in, and there was a power outage for 12 hours. My roommate brought over his girlfriend and her kids, and they were kind of yelling all night, and they were crying because it was dark and scary. This is a very interesting first chapter of 2023. Hopefully, there's not going to be a big blackout this year. The interesting thing about omens, or paying attention, being in your room alone, and speaking out loud a question that you want clarity or insight on, we start to see see it in our reality. The people you talk to and the messages that keep coming up in the YouTube videos or the podcasts you listen to. I was like, wow, I've been asking this question for two days. I'm getting so much of the same answer repeatedly. It might not be something I want to hear. That's probably why I didn't see the answer. Oh, you got to do this thing you don't want to do. Or you're going to talk to this person you don't want to talk to. It's going to be so uncomfortable. But that's how we grow. And we don't become someone different unless we do something different. When my buddy Spencer and I were living on a chocolate farm, we didn't have much to do except work on ourselves work out, meditate, do breath work, whatever. Trying to be better humans. And when I devoted to meditation and intention setting, we noticed a direct correlation with cordial gestures from strangers. We'd pass through the town square and people we didn't even know would stop what they're doing to look at me and nod or smile. Whoa, why are they smiling? Oh, am I smiling? Even people who aren't strangers, curmudgeonly old dudes that live in the jungle, you could always wave at them and they never wave at you. But after enough meditation, Sure enough, that man would stop what he's doing, change his face, and wave. I felt kind of frustrated I couldn't go anywhere in the snow. I couldn't get to my gig, couldn't use my car. I couldn't really edit or make a video because everything's still disorganized. I guess more faith and more trust would solve pretty much any problem right now. I am grateful that what I've been feeling these last few days, I've just seen this so many times. The last chapter of hard times always seems to be something so fortuitous and so auspicious. All in all, I'm genuinely excited about this year. I really want to set the intention ceremoniously this year is going to be unlike any other year. May we not squander our gifts. We can't do everything, but we can do something. Waste no time. Happy 2023.